deficit. They'll get this drop. Back to throw. Here's Dan. One off to his running back. Complete. Running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. And he made. Tight end in motion left. Third down from the gun. That's a cut for the first. What's going on out there, you two? What's up? Team Hollywood and what's up my Madden 25 fans it's your man Hollywood Sports if you are new to my channel thank you for clicking on my video and welcome to Hollywood Sports we are here to talk about my slider set my all pro slider set guys and uh, we're ready to get it going man we're ready to get it going all right before, before we get into the slider set, I want to explain to you how I design these sliders. Number one, I want them to be fun. Because in the, in the past, I used to make them really hard, close to all Madden without the cheats. And a lot of people say, you know, it's kind of hard. I'm throwing too many interceptions. How can I, make, how can I do better? Um, I can't get my run game going. They're running really. I can't stop them. I can't stop, the, I can't stop them on defense. So guys, I made them fun, I made them realistic, and I made them tough at the same time, okay? The fun part is they're not difficult, difficult, but they're difficult enough where you still can have a challenge and have fun at the same time, okay? And they're realistic. Simulation sliders, all pro simulation sliders, okay? So let's get into it because I didn't want you to be like, you're trying to throw a pass and you really got to identify the defense. You really got to identify the blitz. You really got to identify the mic. You really got to go you go through your progressions. You really got to read your uh, offensive line blocking for you. You got to go through all of that to be successful on the play. I didn't want people to go through all that because they're not going to have any fun having to do all that. Okay. All right. Here we go. First thing I want you to see is this. In the settings, before you go into franchise, go all the way down. Because it's not going to, once you get in your franchise, it's not going to be there. Okay? This thing right here, physics-based tackling results. Physics-based tackling results, you want to put it on 10. I tried it on zero. I tried it on lower numbers, but 10. And it controls the gameplay, guys. Because when you got physics in the game... It really can get in the way sometimes, but I think I got it playing smoothly. I'm gonna keep testing. 10 right now looks good. I didn't bother to go 11 or 12 or 13. You know, it, the default is 50, you know, but I think there's too much going on. So we need to lower it. So I maybe keep going up as far as I can. So the game doesn't get clunky and and uh, 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 kind of kind of junky looking you know what I'm saying junky animations everything clouding up together to me these physics based uh, on 10 works pretty good in my opinion I'm gonna keep testing though okay that's the first thing you want to do before you go any into franchise mode is that the home stream settings go down here and fix this and put it on 10 all right now you see the speed parity scale on 100 the fatigue at 60 and the injuries at zero you're gonna see those in the slider set also but I, 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 I put those on when I play my play now games to practice. But um, what I want to say is injuries in this game are garbage. So I put it on zero. Those silly injuries you get, man, they're, 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 not, they're not immersive. You don't feel like they're, I don't know. Injuries to me don't make any sense. But you can put them on, on whatever you want. I mean, I don't have any injuries in my league, okay? <laughs> All right, we can just use our substitutes and stuff like that. I know injuries are part of the game. With the way Madden do it, I don't like it, so I just took them out. Now it's up to you, all right? Okay, now let's go out. Let's get into franchise mode. I want to say thank you to everybody that came out to my live stream um, last night for our first week in our official franchise mode. Uh, we beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 20 to 7 on the road in Tampa. Uh, game number two, week two, we playing the New York Giants, guys. And we still going to be in Commander Stadium. I forgot the name of the new stadium we, we is going to be called, but uh, EA is going to put that in on the next update. But let's go down to the slider sets. 
franchise settings. I don't have any XP size, just so you know. So people don't ask me in the comment section. I have it on. I have it at default. I don't have any XP sliders. Okay. Gameplay sliders. And I'm gonna get my. Um, now that the I, well, nobody's really talked about it. I'm gonna go do my draft class too. I'll probably do a video on that on my draft class. Okay, accuracy 60. Okay, 60 guys, 60. I want you to have fun. Okay, you're still gonna have you still gonna have to read the defense. I'm just trying to close the windows up for you. Okay, you're still gonna have to make good throws. You're still gonna have to read the defense and all that. So 60 is a good set, so you can still have some fun and throw some beautiful passes. Don't you want to throw beautiful passes? All right. Pass blocking, I got zero. Okay. I want to. I want these guys to go off rating. Sometimes I feel like sliders and all that stuff bogs down the game, weighs the game down. I want to free this thing up, baby. I think that's why my game looks so much smoother um, because I'm trying to free this thing up. It's the same thing with that uh, uh, physics tackling slider. Okay bring it down 50 has got too much weight on it everything gets clunky it doesn't feel good this game feels free right now when you play it you're gonna be like oh man this feels good you're gonna have some fun you're gonna feel the immersion wide receiver catching at default run blocking at zero you guys see the number same thing with run blocking okay that way you just go off the ratings that's why this is a big key you're gonna get a different experience from each team you play okay because the ratings are different with each team you play. Sometimes you might have a good running game on run plays, depending on who you're playing. Sometimes you might you, you can't even get two or three yards on a run play. Depends on who you're playing. Sometimes you might have to pass more. Sometimes you have to run more. Like y'all seen, our run game was working pretty good in our first game against Tampa Bay. Now some some weeks I played when I practiced, I couldn't get I couldn't get nothing running. I couldn't run nothing. Okay, so it's gonna fluctuate. So when you think you got a favorite play, it's not gonna be your favorite play for every team because some teams ain't gonna allow you to do it. That's why I got it strictly on ratings, guys. Pass and run blocking. The reason why I'm making this long because I wanna give you guys the explanation because then I'll get these questions in the comment section, okay? Ball security, default. Um, I'm still testing ball security because I don't think the way the fumbles work and all that stuff, uh, 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 you know, I, I just want it to be more realistic type of fumbles. Like you see in my game, in my live stream, when the guys get a big hit on the football, the football comes out. It comes out, okay? So 50 seems good, but it's also based on this, the uh, 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 physics slider too, when I got it at 10, all right? Pass defense reaction, I got it at 100, guys. You want to stop the defense for completing 100 percent of their passes? You got to put it on 100. That's just the way they, they they program the game, okay? But it's gonna be challenging. You still got to pick the right defense, or they will eat you up, okay? You play calling is a part of the game. You can't just pick any defense and go, oh man, they did this. Oh man, I can't stop this. Man, I can't stop that. Based on their formations, their wide receiver sets, under the center shotgun, right? Trips, bunch. You gotta, you gotta make sure you you calling a good good defensive play so they can properly cover it, okay? All right, but you still need your coverage on 100. Interceptions 55, 55 will give you a good set whether you don't drop too many, but you won't catch a lot either. I mean, you know, it's 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 balanced. You're gonna get some information sometimes. You got because you know yeah, got that SWAT thing in there. Sometimes they just swat the ball away. That's why I got it up to 55. You'll get less swats and get more interceptions. All right, you're still going to get some drops and everything. Pass coverage, 100. Tackling, leave it at default. Okay. Okay, CPU. Quarterback accuracy, 20. 20. They're going to get missed throws, guys. Even in all Madden, they were missing throws, okay? Put it at 20. They're pass blocking, zero. No advantage. We got to go off the ratings. Again, that's how you're going to experience different play styles versus who you play. If you play Tampa Bay, they're going to be blitzing or blocking, pass blocking this way. If you play the Commanders, you're going to you're gonna see every team you play is going to be different. If you play Buffalo, because it's going to go off the ratings. That's why the pass blocking at zero. And the run blocking is at zero. Wide receiver catching, 50. Ball security still at 50. Now, their pass defense reaction time is zero. Okay? 
they're going to be going off their ratings. So that way there's no programming cheats in this thing whatsoever, okay? Um, when you did this in all Madden, it didn't matter, okay? I broke stuff down, guys. I did extensive testing. When you put it on zero, it didn't matter in all Madden. See that? Because all Madden is programmed to cheat you a little bit, okay? Interceptions, 50. Pass coverage, zero, okay? Um, now, the one, the pass coverage, I'm sorry, the interceptions I have on 50 because... I was going to lower it, but you have to be responsible for the passes you throw. I don't want you to be saying, oh, I can throw in the double coverage, man. I got I got a uh, 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 Tyreek Hill. He's going to catch everything. And Tyreek, no, not this set. You throw in double coverage, you're going to get picked. So I left it at default at 50. Okay? You got to have some kind of challenge, guys. It can't be easier. You're not going to have, it's not going to feel fulfilling when you do beat a good team. Tackling 50. And these are all default. Injuries at zero, put your injuries where you want. You know, that's why people lower injuries, guys. They don't leave it at default because the injuries happen all day long, all game long. To me, the injuries haven't been done right in Madden. So I put it, I just don't want to deal with it. I put it at zero. Even at times they're supposed to be on the injured list. Stuff like that, it doesn't work out right, okay? Fatigue, 60. Minimum player threshold is at 100. You know, back in the other Madden days, we used to put it on zero, where it's the opposite now. Madden was always opposite, always backwards. You got to put it on 100 and get the even speed threshold differences, right? And the penalties I left all default. These I left on, on. Okay. <clears throat> Illegal block, leave it at default. Attentional grounding, put it on. on. Roughing the passer, um, leave it at default. Because if you go any higher, you're going to get roughing the passes all day. Roughing the kick out can turn off. Okay, because if you turn it on, you're gonna get roughing the kicker all day. If you leave it on, you're gonna get roughing it, running into the kicker all day. So I just turned them off. Their penalties don't really, they haven't perfected the penalties either. That's why you can't, they don't give you a slider set for these, right? They don't give you a slider set for these because they, they can't program that. So they just put it on and off, right? And very rarely do you see a catch and a finish call, right? A kick catch interference. You won't see it. They can't, they can't produce it. They can't program it. That's why you don't have a slider. Offensive pass interference, they can't produce that, guys. The game is not programmed that well. Don't have that those great animations. Not, not that tight. They can't put sliders on those, right? Illegal contact on, okay? Running into the kicker, keep those off. Roughing the kicker, keep them off, okay? Those are the sliders, guys. Those are the sliders. And make sure you put in the right numbers. I've seen people do that all the time. I, I go, what number you have in there? They'll tell me, and I go, that's the wrong number. Well, this ain't working. It's not like your videos. Check your numbers. Okay? Check your numbers. Make sure you put them in right. It's easy to make a mistake. Sometimes you think you're on a CPU and you're putting in user. Sometimes you're on a user and you're putting in CPU numbers. So be careful, guys. Be careful. All right. Those are the sliders. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Okay? I haven't done anything else. I haven't done auto subs or none of that stuff, guys. Okay? Because I have a customized playbook. And sometimes those auto subs, I mean, the, uh, uh, yeah, the auto subs are not, they only have a certain amount of plays in the auto subs. And a lot of plays I have are not in there. So I just don't bother it. All right? There you go, guys. There you go. Those are the sliders. I hope you appreciate it, man. I'm Hollywood Sports. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on my next video.